here now. So this is the studio, right? Let me see. You have the bass, drum, the snare drum, the two tom-toms, two samples, and a block them. I think the first time Joe Jones ever heard me was somewhere in Minneapolis. And when I told him how much I in, in enjoyed his playing, he said, well, man, I was trying to play like you. And here I am trying to play like him. So I know that, that every opportunity I would uh, uh, visit with Joe uh, to pick up what I could. And uh, uh, I like to think that uh, he felt the same way about me. Uh, Joe, uh, to me, being a drum man, is the sound of Count Basie. I'll, I'll roll, roll to that. that. Strange as it might seem, you might come into the shop and there's a clarinet player, there's a saxophone player, there's a, a guitar player, because they have to know rhythm patterns, too. You see, I don't care whom they are, they have to start with the drum. And they're real loud from the drum. They're not going to a pianist to get it, because the pianist has to take it from the drum. Joe Jones is the grandfather of modern drumming, and is perhaps the world's greatest living drummer, certainly of his era. His snare drum roll has been likened to the pouring of hot fudge over marble, a comparison that suggests the easy humor of his style. Not a drummer who ever incorporates volume as part of his technique. The most strident effect in Jones's percussive inventory are his rim shots, likened to the firing of a hail of bullets at the soloist's feet. Another apt comparison this, since Jones started his life in music as a dancer. He works regularly around New York, still tours abroad and makes records. But these days, his first priority is to the drum shop in which he's a partner. Some of us don't get the experience, as others do. And when they don't have the experience, that's what the shop is all about. Most days, he'll drop in for an hour or two, take his pupils through their paces in the drum studios above the shop, or maybe just work out himself. what you just got through doing. That you let the stick play instead of the stick play you. Because you get the rebound off the percussion, off your drum. That's the single foot. Well, that's what I thought. That's the, that's the single foot. Can you play me the double gate? Ah, that's the rat. <laughs> yes, that's the rat. drummer shouldn't overstep himself in many directions. For instance, he shouldn't make his solo that long that the guy's got to go up and, and, and get a drink to, to take the rest of it. should be able to feel that he's losing the interest of the of the audience and, and quit, you know, give the signal for the band to come on in, which in my case used to be, a, oh, I haven't got a call bell here, but I always, uh, when I was getting ready to go out, I never had a, in my own band, I never had a stipulated amount of bars to play. 
But when I gave, I'll be playing along, and when I gave this signal, that would mean that, uh, that uh, I'm gonna go out pretty soon, and of course I'd make a, a pretty obvious break uh, as to where they should come in like, uh,